Hello internet people, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. I recently played Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, uh, their demo, they have a demo that came out where you get to play a mission, where you get to play as Cloud and you get to play as Sephiroth as well. This demo has completely changed my mind. And here's why. I am a very big fan of the Final Fantasy franchise. However, my first entry was 10, and I kind of just went upwards after that. I didn't really go back into the previous games to discover them. Final Fantasy VII Remake came back on the PS4. I decided to get it, but I wasn't super invested in the story or characters because I was four years old when Final Fantasy VII came back on PlayStation 1. Yeah, the game's old. The game's very, very old, and so am I. I didn't have any real attachment to the game, but I still was interested, which is why I ended up buying it. I did get through most of the game, but didn't finish it. I think I'm at like two hours left of until I beat the game, something like that. Yeah, it's bad. I stopped playing after the stairs because it felt like the stairs was not respecting my time. The reason why I ended up stopping was because of the combat. Back on the PS4, the combat did not flow as nicely as I would have liked it to. One of my biggest gripes was the fact that there was no jump button. And when I started playing, and I know they have an optimized version of the game, but that's not the version I played. There would be these aerial enemies, and I'd be playing as Cloud, and this is early in the game when I didn't have any material, and I didn't have any long-distance attacks. Cloud is supposed to automatically jump into the air and strike the enemy, because there's no jump button. For whatever reason, he would not jump into the air, and he would just swing at nothing constantly, turning a one to two minute battle into like a five, ten minute battle. I'm not even joking. I would just be there, swinging at nothing because for whatever reason cloud would not detect the enemy above him and i wouldn't be able to hit them which really soured my enjoyment of the game and then when i got to the stairs part of the game where they made me go up i don't know how many flights of stairs and they wouldn't let me run something inside of me just broke i was like i'm not enjoying the combat the story is good enough but i know we're only playing like one third like, it's like the first act of the actual PlayStation 1 game. And to me at that point, it just wasn't worth it anymore because I just wasn't enjoying myself. I felt like I had to force myself through the combat to enjoy the story. And then when it got to the end, I just let go. I was like, nope, I'm done. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force myself to finish this game if I'm not enjoying it, if I'm not enjoying its combat already. I felt like the dodge wasn't super reliable as well. Like I, I there were a lot of instances where I felt like I should have dodged an attack and then I still got hit. Mind you, I do come from an action hack and slasher background, so I'm used to very smooth, fluid, and responsive combat. And I feel like Final Fantasy VII Remake, just they, they hadn't hit the nail on the head yet. And it was just, it was just, it was a little bit too much for me to overlook, so I ended up dropping the game. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo comes out. I tell myself, you know what, it's a demo. There's nothing to lose. Let me download it. I'm going to play it. If I like it, great. If I don't like it, well, I already knew. Because I wasn't planning on getting Final Fantasy Rebirth. But then I played the freaking demo, and oh my god, have you guys changed my mind? Every single gripe I had with the combat has been fixed in its entirety. I am truly impressed with the technological marvel that they're displaying here. The combat is fast, fluid, uh, beautiful. The hit detections are f hundreds of times better. I have not had a single problem with any flying enemies. Also, one thing, flying enemies fly a lot closer to the ground now, which is very appreciated. I get it, the enemy flies and you want them high up in the air. But if half of your party can't attack it, it's not fun. Or give me the ability to jump, which they still haven't done. But there is a work around that. First off, the enemy detection leagues better. I, I didn't have any issues in the demo when I was playing as Cloud. He would like jump into the air or the at attack would land, even though it wasn't like 100% in the hitbox. It would still do damage because I guess the AI 
understood that this was the enemy I was going after. Also, in the demo, this is all demo stuff, so it's not really a spoiler. Uh, in the demo, you get to play as Sephiroth, and Sephiroth does have a dodge mechanic. His dodge is a teleportation that will actually bring him face to face with the enemy, regardless of height. I do believe there is a distance cap to how far he can teleport, but if the enemy is in the air, Sephiroth can teleport straight up in the air. The demo is about an hour long where you get to play a flashback scene of young Cloud uh, while he was still a part of the team with Sephiroth and you discover uh, Genova for the very first time and then Sephiroth snaps and he destroys Cloud's village. This is not a spoiler, the game's been out for almost 30 years, okay? Relax. That's all I've got to say about that. It's a, I know it's a very short video because, hey man, it's an hour long demo. There isn't that much to talk about. Well, there is, but I don't want to talk about it. I would much rather let you guys know that the demo has changed my mind in, in its entirety. I will be buying the game probably on release because, I mean, I'm convinced. I'm truly convinced and I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm thinking of having Final Fantasy VII being the first game I live stream on YouTube, like a whole playthrough from beginning to end. Let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, be sure to like, share, subscribe, ding that notification button, all that good stuff. And if you don't want to, well, remember, at the end of the day, I'm just some guy on the internet, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.